Tennessee Titans. We already spoke about how they went to Indianapolis and won. Now they've got the matchup with the Washington Commanders, a team that is floundering, that lost in Dallas last week. Carson Wentz's play is struggling. There's no official play here, but Scott Kellen, I'm going to go come back to you to Tennessee. Find something against the Colts last week. Derrick Henry ran it well. You mentioned earlier in the show opportunistic defense. I guess what did they find last week, and can it continue on the road in D.C.? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I think you got to respect Mike Brabel, Brabel and, uh, and uh, you know, what he can do with the team. He's, he's a very good coach, so certainly respect that. And, uh, you know, that's always going to come to the table in any game. He's going to have the team ready. Um, I don't have any play here for Washington. My God, they, uh, you know, that defensive line got beat up a few weeks ago. I mean, it's, it's just been horrendous for them. Uh, and now the offensive line, I mean, seriously, us three could probably audition for them <laughs> and have a chance. I mean, they, they've got nobody left in that offensive line as, at all. Dotson is a little banged up. I, he may not have practiced or may have been limited yesterday. Uh, this this team's a mess right now. I mean, they cannot move the ball, uh, you know. And now you're going to go up against a Tennessee team who they, you know, they were Tennessee was missing a couple guys last last week. Hooker uh, in the secondary, he might come back as well to help them. Uh, it's just my having said all that, my numbers kind of support Washington a, a little bit, and I have to keep looking at those numbers and. And like, am I missing something? Because it, it kind of just shocks me. And there's just no way I can take Washington right now with just what they're putting out on the field and displaying. So it's a pass for me. But this Washington team is really, really beat up. I'll add one thing that kind of applies to all these games this week, uh, or many of them. Uh, the guys that were put on the injured reserve at the beginning of the season, that's a four-week stint. And now it's possible, you know, you, you see a lot of updates where, they're, uh, I, I, I'm going to get the term wrong probably, but activating them and whatnot. They can practice right. for three weeks. At some point, they can play. So it's a little hard it's to tell. The where value, if I can interject, it's called the evaluation period. They can evaluate yes. them for two or three weeks and activate them at any point along the way. But if you don't activate them within the three weeks, they stay on injured reserve, I believe, for the remainder of the year. you got to yeah, bring them off, yeah. I think. I, so. Yeah, I think you're correct in that, TJ. And so you kind of have to watch and see if some of these guys might come back and some of these teams in Washington's got guys that, you know, fit that mode uh, that might help them. But right now they're just too decimated for me to want to get involved with anything on them. And again, the commanders can't seem to protect Carson Wentz, et cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, Chris Farley, any thoughts here, Tennessee? Back-to-back -back wins. Again, no back-to-back -back games on the road. No official play, but any quick thought here? Yeah, I mean, God, last week, you know, we talked about it on this show. It was just one of those spots where, hey, that line doesn't make sense. The commander is only three-point underdogs on the road. You know, maybe it's the spot for the, you know, some kind of regression, right? A lot of sharps on Washington last week still didn't happen, right? Just football happened. The uh, uh, defensive line of the Cowboys got after Carson Wentz again. And it's just, it's, it's tough to trust, right? I mean, if you watch any Tennessee Titans game, they don't always get sacks, but they do get pressure on the quarterback. Carson Wentz is again, which you have to assume he will be, just you know a little confused back there. It's a little chaotic back there. I can't, I can't play on Washington. I got the Titans at minus one when this first came out. I'll stick with that. But you know, I, I still do give a little bit of value to Washington here too. I like, I don't know why. You know, because because eventually I have to stop looking at Washington. I'm definitely not going to play on them this week though. All right. So no official play from our guys here on the Commanders, and right now. Why would you, with the way that they have struggled? Um, we'll just see. We'll see what happens.